We recently spent a single night at the Luminary Hotel in Fort Myers, Florida. Um, this is part of the uh, Marriott Hotel collection. We were assigned room 727. This is a uh, double queen room. It's the standard room. As you enter the room, you have uh, kind of the standalone closet here, more of an armoire. It has a couple of uh, bathrobes in it if you need some bathrobes. Just behind the uh, closet here is a very small or relatively small bathroom, a uh, shower, no bathtub. They have the uh, multi-use shampoo, conditioner, and bath soap. Just a single vanity in this bathroom. As I said, this is a double queen room. It has a nice uh, full-length mirror for getting dressed. Since we were here in December, there was a lot of Christmas parties going on. I'm sure that full-length mirror got uh, used in a lot of the rooms. The uh, two queen beds were both comfortable. They uh, had uh, uh, the addition of a couple of um, uh, reading lights. Uh, on this particular bed, the one light worked, the one over on the other side did not. Nightstand between the beds. The clock radio has a couple of electrical outlets and USB ports. There's also additional electrical outlets on the headboards of the beds with additional USB ports available to plug in all of your, uh, all of your electronics. Decorative lighting in the room. Uh, I think you can tell from the uh, quality of the video that uh, the room is relatively dark. They use a lot of these bright LED lights. Uh, and they light up the areas fairly well, but the overall feeling of the room was a, a fairly fairly dark room. So at the uh, desk here, uh, it's a nice little workstation, several USB ports, several uh, electrical outlets. One of the unique features is uh, what I uh, felt was more like a liquor cabinet. They offer some uh, larger bottles of, um, of alcohol. Those are 375 milliliter bottles. They have uh, another, another uh, shelf here has the uh, glasses, a couple of wine glasses, champagne flutes, and just uh, plain old uh, on the rocks glasses. Another shelf down, they have the uh, coffee service. They don't use the Keurig single coffee maker or single serving coffee makers here. Beneath that is um, you have the, um, the in-room safe in the bottom drawer. And in the drawer just above the uh, safe, you have uh, a few snacks here. We did not avail ourselves to any of them because they're all uh, fairly expensive, as you can imagine, in a hotel room. They do list the prices out here. And uh, like I said, $4, $7 seems to be standard prices. They list the prices for Coke and Diet Coke and Sprite, but I didn't see any in this uh, particular uh, um, cabinet. Uh, Buffalo Trace, 375 milliliters for $40. That was, to me, that was just a little bit outrageous. So we had a standard room, which means we really had no view. This is supposed to have a partial river view, but it was nighttime, so it's hard to say whether we could have seen the river or not. A uh, lovely view of the parking lot and a few of the surrounding buildings. Overall, this is an adequate room for spending uh, um, a single night in. Um, so we felt comfortable here. The lobby is a really nice lobby, but when we arrived, this place was just rocking. They have a lobby bar, they have a restaurant down here, they had a performer down here, and it was just loud. They also have a coffee shop off to the side. Uh, we left fairly early, so they weren't open yet. On the 12th floor, they have the Beacon Social Drinkery. Uh, this is a really nice bar. We went up here for a couple of drinks and uh, some snacks. They have lovely outdoor seating, but um, as again, uh, a lot of Christmas parties and, and a lot of people were sitting out there. Overall, this was a nice hotel. Uh, we stayed here one night so that we could be uh, um, in Fort Myers and a little closer to the airport. We had a very early morning flight. Um, I think if we needed to stay uh, in Fort Myers again, this would be a good choice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Safe travels, guys.